boys and girls, this is Miss Grubb, and today is World Read Aloud Day, and it's a day where we celebrate the joy of reading and the joy of having books read aloud to us. I'm so excited because today I'm going to read aloud one of my favorite books ever, Bubba the Cowboy Prince. And I want you to listen as you listen to me read the story today. It's going to remind you of a story that we all know very well. So think about that as you're reading and enjoying it. Bubba the Cowboy Prince, A Fractured Texas Tale by Helen Ketteman, illustrated by James Warhola. Once a strapping young feller named Bubba lived on a ranch with his wicked stepdaddy and his hateful and lazy stepbrothers, Dwayne and Milton. Bubba's stepdaddy spoiled Dwayne and Milton no end, but Bubba worked from sun up to sundown doing the chores of three ranch hands. Bubba never complained though, he loved ranching. Dwayne and Milton spent their days sitting on horseback, bossing Bubba around. Get them doggies around there, Bubba, ordered Dwayne. Yeah, and watch out for them cow patties, added Milton. You know how Daddy hates for you to track up the house. Now, Miss Lurleen, who lived down the road a piece, was the prettiest and richest gal in the county. She owned the biggest spread west of the Brazos, and she loved ranching too. But it was lonesome work, and after a while, she decided it was time for some companionship. I aim to find myself a feller, she said, one who loves ranching as much as I do. And it wouldn't hurt if he was cute as a cow's ear either. Miss Lurling decided to throw a ball. She sent invitations to all the ranchers in Texas. Soon, the day of the ball arrived. Milton and Dwayne spent all day getting gussied up in their finest duds. Bubba about ran himself white ragged waiting on them. Bubba, shouted Dwayne, fetch my bolo tie. Bubba, shouted Milton, get my boots polished. Bubba, shouted his wicked stepdaddy, brush them horses and wash that wagon. By the time Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy were ready to go, Bubba was exhausted. Still, as they climbed into the wagon, Bubba asked, Can't you wait for me to get ready? I want to dance with Ms. Lurling too. Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy hooted and hollered, why, you're sorrier than a steer in a stockyard, said Dwayne. Can you imagine Miss Lurleen dancing with the likes of you? Said Milton. Miss Lurleen wouldn't even wipe the dirt clods off her boots with that raggedy shirt of yours. And you smell more like cattle than the cattle do. Bubba took a look at himself. It was true. He didn't have a decent shirt to wear. His boots were downright disgraceful. And he did. Smell a bit rough. Milton and Dwayne were right. Miss Lurleen wouldn't dance with the likes of him. Bubba hung his head. He felt lower than a rattlesnake in a gully. Milton and Dwayne and their wicked daddy went on off to the ball. Bubba mounted his horse and headed for the pasture to check on the herd. The sky was getting darker than a black bull at midnight. It looked like a Texas thunderstorm was brewing. Bubba had just arrived at the cow pasture when a bolt of lightning struck, knocking him off his horse. Bubba was stunned for a moment, but when he picked himself up, he heard a voice. Go to the ball, Bubba, said the voice. Bubba looked around. No one was there except him and the cows. Now Bubba figured he bonked the bejeebers out of his bean cause the voice was coming from a cow. She chewed her cud for a moment then said, I'm your fairy god cow and I can help you go to the ball. Bubba sat up rubbing his head. I'd like to know Miss God cow, but shoot, 
I don't have a thing to wear. I'd like to go. The fairy god cow swished her tail and Bubba's raggedy clothes changed into the handsomest cowboy duds he'd ever laid eyes on. His jeans were crisp, his boots were shiny, his shirt was dazzling, and his Stetson was whiter than a new salt lick. <laughs> Why, I look damn right purty, said Bubba. The fairy god cow swished her tail again and a nearby steer turned into the most beautiful white stallion Bubba had ever seen. Now you go off to the ball, Bubba, and have a good time dancing with Miss Marlene. But you best be home by midnight, because that's when the magic runs out. Yahoo! shouted Bubba as he jumped on the white hot horse and galloped off to the ball. When Bubba arrived, the hoedown was in full swing. But every time Miss Marlene finished a dance, she yawned. There goes another $10 Stetson on a five-cent head, she complained. Where are all the real cowboys? By the time it was Bubba's turn to dance with Miss Lurleen, it was almost midnight. Soon as she saw Bubba, Miss Lurleen's eyes lit up. Why, you're cute as a cow's ear, she said. Bubba blushed, then took Miss Lurleen in his arms and started dancing. Dwayne and Milton turned purple with jealousy. Who's that dude? said Dwayne. I don't recollect seeing him before, but he looks a mite familiar, said Milton. Do something, said their wicked daddy. That cowboy is winning Miss Lurleen's heart. As it turned out, Milton and Dwayne didn't have to do a thing because Bubba and Miss Lurleen were in the middle of dosy doing when the clock struck midnight. Suddenly, Bubba's fine duds turned into the dirty rags he usually wore around the ranch. He looked sorry, and he smelled worse. What's that awful smell? asked Milton. Why is Bubba? shouted Dwayne. Bubba turned 14 shades of red, apologized to Ms. Lurleen, and ran out the room. Wait! She yelled, chasing after him. But Bubba didn't wait. He jumped on his cow and lumbered off into the night. In the ruckus, he lost one of his dirty cowboy boots. Ms. Lurleen clasped it in her arms. This is the boot of a real cowboy and the man I want to marry, and I aim to find him. Ms. Lurleen went back inside, and though she asked everybody at the ball, nobody knew who the mysterious cowboy was. Nobody except Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy. That is, but they weren't talking. The next day, Miss Lurleen went from ranch to ranch looking for the cowboy who owned the boot. When she came to Dwayne and Milton's ranch, both brothers tried the boot on, but it didn't fit. Miss Lurleen had just climbed on her horse to leave when Bubble rode up. He was dirty and sweaty and smelly from working with the cows. And he was only wearing one boot. Miss Lurleen jumped off her horse and ran over to Bubba. Try this on, she cried. Bubba took his dirty old boot and pulled it on. Much obliged, ma'am, he said, blushing. It fit perfectly. You're my prince in cowboy boots shouted Miss Lurleen. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. Marry me, cowboy, and help me work my ranch. Dwayne and Milton and their wicked daddy threw chicken fits. But Bubba just smiled, and he and Miss Lurleen rode off into the sunset. They lived happily ever after, roping and cowpoking and getting them doggies along. I hope you enjoyed Bubba the Cowboy Prince. The end.